Hello Internet, Brent Justice here again with the FPSreview.com and I am here with the Intel Lunar Lake information. So Intel will be talking about and announcing things at Computex 2024 this year. And one of those things is Lunar Lake. There's going to be more things that they will be talking about of course as well. But today I'm going to focus on what I think for our audience is going to be the most interesting and relevant to them, and that is the Lunar Lake architecture and what is coming down on the mobile side. Of course, definitely check Intel's website for all the information and the latest things there. Also, you can check our website, thefpsreview.com, where we have the full press deck of all the architecture that's being talked about today. So I have posted the entire press deck on all of the architecture that we're talking about. It's a deep dive. And if you want to read all of that information just for yourself, for knowledge sake, definitely check out that article and you can read all the slides yourself. Today I'm just going to go over in this video a shorter set of slides and going to hit the the highlights of these topics and I'm just going to go through this as quickly as I can and uh, talk about pretty much what the slides say so we are aware. So this is the official announcement Lunar Lake. It's their flagship SOC next gen of AI PCs which we all of course know as laptops and mobile. Breakthrough x86 power efficiency, core performance, a massive leap in graphics, and of course AI compute with that NPU. Lunar Lake construction, this is really neat. It shows how it's constructed with the different compute tiles, platform controller tile, the packaging, how it's all put together, and then the memory, which is very special to this one. Memory on package. And as you can see here, it is talking about that. 32 gigabyte with two ranks, support for LPDDR5X, DRAM 8.5 on the speed, support up to 16 times 4, up to 40% lower PHY power, and a savings on the die area there. So what makes Lunar Lake really sing? Well, it is the P cores and the E cores. And the P core architecture in this one is called Lion Cove. This is an update from Meteor Lake, performance, microarchitecture update, and a modern design. And you can see here just an overview basically of why this is new. We have more execution ports up to 12 megabytes of shared L2 cache, wider scheduling, finer clock intervals, enhanced memory subsystem, eight times wider predict. Uh, these are architectural changes that will make the P cores a bit better. Now what does that mean for performance? Double digit performance is what Intel is claiming. Lion Cove plus 14 percent over Meteor Lake is what they are saying. So that is the IPC gains from the previous generation and the power to performance curve better as well. The efficiency cores, yes, they're still going with the P and E cores in Lunar Lake. And those are based on the SkyMont architecture, as you can see here, an increased workload coverage, double vector and AI throughput and scalability. So this is also an, a better version of what, what we, we had previously on Meteor Lake. SkyMont E cores, enhanced prediction, deeper queuing, wider allocation, two times AI throughput, uh, two times the L2 cache bandwidth, 26 dispatch ports, four megabytes of shared L2 cache. So just all across the board, E cores improved as well. And Intel is claiming 1.68 times the Meteor Lake E cores. Now, what does that mean for actual performance? I mean, we'll have to wait and see. That is what Intel is claiming right now. And of course, the power and performance profile and uh, scale there is better with these E cores. So you put all this together and you're seeing the perf per watt, per watt improvements and uh, that's what they're claiming there. I'm not going to spend too much time on this because it's just all theoretical until, you know, these are in people's hands 
and we are actually benchmarking this versus the previous version and we know you know real world performance this is all synthetics and this is all what the uh, press presentations tell you which is always sometimes a little different than what turns out to be in the real world but I just wanted to show you what Intel's quotes were what their claims are before these things are released also Intel thread director it continues in this architecture as it did in the last architecture and they have improved it so they have these things called OS containment zones efficiency hybrid compute zoneless and uh, enhanced algorithms a finer granularity and enhanced power management in thread director and this is really cool OEM mode they can decide the OEM can decide if they want to scale this more toward efficiency or performance uh, using the thread director uh, and that goes hand in hand with the scheduling because thread director is basically uh, used by these dynamic scheduling policies which can determine where these workloads sit on the cores and what I find interesting here is that the scheduling can determine first it will send the workload to the first single e core as the work fits and then as it needs to scale up on e cores uh, multi threading apps for example can expand to more e cores and then beyond that if it needs to push over into the p cores uh, as the demand increases then it can do that so it should have a more intelligent way of scaling between those e cores and p cores and the policies in the thread director help the OS decide how to do that and this can just generally mean you know more performance uh, these uh, they're talking here about the uh, OS containment specifically and with that how you can basically save power uh, with these workloads on the right cores which you know makes sense uh, theoretically so we'll have to see how all that pans out of course um, and this goes into a little more detail about how it starts off by scheduling it on the E cores and then moves it to the P cores as the demand is needed you can take a closer look at these slides again on our website where we'll, we will have all of them published another big component of Lunar Lake is the new XE2 GPU cores much more powerful this time uh, and they have actually done quite a bit of improvements here with the hardware um, I have the full slide deck on our website published so you can check that out where it really goes into more detail about this architecture but this is just a a big overview of that Intel is claiming 1.5x or 50% better than Meteor Lake that is what they're claiming um, and that is being accomplished with uh, new vector engines that they have uh, new XMX engines as well second or second gen XE cores and there's eight of them uh, enhanced XESS kernels 8 megabyte L2 cache 8 larger ray tracing units so okay larger ray tracing units potentially better ray tracing performance uh, Intel is claiming up to 67 tops through this integrated GPU it still uses the Intel Arc software stack which they have been building on through Meteor Lake for quite a while now and that is getting better and better with er every iteration so it's still based on all of that and uh, those improvements should be good uh, we go in a little bit into the uh, vector engine here and how they are improving that and then also uh, again the 1.5x which is 50% over Meteor Lake uh, for the power and the performance there obviously we will have to check all this out you know and see how the benchmarks play out but that's the general gist of it the media display and media engines have also been improved you still got the AV1 encode and decode now you can also decode VVC as well Display engine supported, EDP, DisplayPort 2.1, HDMI 2.1, three display pipes. Uh, and then they're talking about um, VVC decode here and how that's supported. The E DisplayPort improvements. Um, and then just overall summing that up, a improvement across the board for uh, all the graphics here. Uh, just a really big, should be a big improvement over Meteor Lake. 
Also, let's not forget the NPU. That's the big talk of the town at Computex. And Lunar Lake has improved its NPU. Intel is calling it NPU 4.0 or NPU 4. They've increased the NPU size, increased the clock and efficiency, and it's optimized for modern AI. Here's an overview of that 12 enhanced shaved DSPs accelerating LLM and transformer operations, native activation function and data conversion support, efficiency optimized Mac relay, uh, and six neural compute engines, up to 48 tops. That is the quoted performance for Intel's NPU on Lunar Lake 48 tops, which would exceed Microsoft's requirement for Copilot Plus. So, as you can see, NPU performance improving in power as well. So, when you add it all up, their AI compute, the GPU is up to 67 tops, the NPU is up to 48 tops, and the CPU portion is up to 5 tops. And let's not forget connectivity as well. Intel is well known for the Wi Fi and Bluetooth and Thunderbolt integration. So, we have Intel Wi Fi 7. Intel Bluetooth 5.4, 5.8 gigabits Wi-Fi 7 speed, 40 gigabit uh, Thunderbolt speed. Um, we've got uh, PCI Express Gen 5.0 supported and 4.0. So all the goodness of the connectivity that you're used to with uh, previous gens also carried through here as well. And then combining all that together with the efficiencies, there is an 8 megabyte memory side cache, which is effective for feeding those memory hungry IPs. The memory on package, 40% data movement power reduction, power management in thread director, a new power delivery architecture, 40% lower SOC power, improved E core cluster. All of that combined to just improve the efficiency in Lunar Lake. And here's an overview of everything we just talked about here. Uh, and there's obviously a picture in the center of what Lunar Lake looks like, the chip, the memory on package at the top. And that combines everything there, all the information that we know about this. As I mentioned, on our website, thefpsreview.com, I have the full slide deck posted for the P cores. Lion Cove for the E cores, SkyMont for the NPU and for the XE2 GPU. All of that is on our website. Um, this also tells you here it is a 4P, 4P core, 4E core design. Don't really see any talks about this being higher than that. 4P cores, 4E cores. Perhaps that's the max. Uh, we don't know all the iterations of Lunar Lake at this time, uh, but are there going to be? Don't know. Right now, 4P, 4E cores. That's what is being stated. And of course, we will have to see how this plays out in laptops and mobile and the price point these laptops will be at. Now, there has been a lot of showing of this at Computex, Asus's uh, headquarter booth. They had uh, a lot there. We were there. We have some pictures. We actually have a couple of videos, YouTube videos, up on our website on this article that will also be published that uh, shows the, the Lunar Lake on some motherboards. Uh, just kind of shows it to you there, so showing that it is... It is there, it's out, It's uh, th there are designs on these laptops. Asus will be announcing uh, laptop designs, other manufacturers as well. And uh, you know, we'll have to take a look at all that. Uh, we don't have any of those in hand to test. And we'll have to see on the release date for these and of course pricing of laptops and mobile with Lunar Lake. Naturally, everyone's going to be concerned and wanting to know how this competes with, well, Meteor Lake and the improvements upon that, but obviously the competition as well. The competition has announced a lot in this space as well, and that's going to get really heated up this fall 2024. But I just wanted to go over and uh, give you this quick overview uh, of the uh, Lunar Lake because that's kind of, I think, the big thing that Intel is showing off here. 
for Computex 2024. And if you're interested, again, the full deck is on our website. And this is just an overview of that. Um, but if that is of, of interest to you, hopefully that information uh, will will be uh, something that you're interested in. If it's not, that's fine. Um, but right now, no talks about desktop. Um, obviously, everyone is looking forward to what Intel is going to launch on desktop Arrow Lake. When will that be? When are we going to see that? And uh, right now, at least in this presentation, uh, we, we don't have any information about Arrow Lake. This is all about Lunar Lake right now, which is the mobile, mobile platform. So we'll just have to see how that goes in the future for the rest of it. Obviously, just take this for what it is. This is all the, uh, the press and the marketing materials here, all provided by Intel. And so this just gets the information out there to what they want to present. And we will have to wait until the actual hardware gets in people's hands to where they can do real testing on it and real comparisons and see how it actually plays out in the real world. That's what matters the most. Uh, but I just wanted to get this out there so the information is out there. And that's pretty much it. Again, check our website, thefpsreview.com for more information there and more coverage from Computex. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a blessed day and stay tuned for the next one.